Alright guys, another video for you today. Um, this is going to be a video on how to compress ISO files that you have ripped from the UMD on the PSP to your computer. You're gonna. This is going to show you how to compress the ISO files to CSO files using a little program called the PSP ISO Compressor. Basically the difference is an ISO has all this empty space used and uh, what it does is it has this like white empty space for a buffer zone. Well, the CSO gets rid of that because you don't really need that when you have it on a memory stick. So what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to do that using a program. So uh, what I'm going to have you download is right here, the PSP ISO compressor 1.4 how to do blogspot.com blah, 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 blah. This is the file I'm going to have you download. Double click on that. Actually, if you don't have an extraction program, what you're just going to do is you're just going to right click on it and say extract files and just extract them to your desktop. So once you extract the files or open up the uh, the uh, zip folder or the RAR folder, my mistake, with a um, extraction program, you're going to see the PSP ISO compressor 1.4.exe. Double click on that and if you're on Vista or 7, you're just going to hit yes. If you're on XP or lower, it's just going to open the installer. So here's what's going to come up. Welcome to the PSP ISO compressor setup. Setup wizard will install PSP ISO compressor on your computer. Click next to continue. Cancel to exit the setup wizard. You're going to hit next. Leave this as the way it is. And just hit next. And then simply hit install. And wait for that to install. So what I'm going to do now while that's installing is I'm going to open up the computer. And I'm going to go to my removable disk right here and uh, this is my PSP now while that's waiting um, to be installed I'm gonna go check this out it's finished so uh, you don't need to view the readme file because I'm gonna show you how to do everything and you're gonna say launch PSP ISO compressor finish that now this is gonna come up so what you're gonna do is select compress ISO to CSO and you're gonna browse for an input file so you're going to go to wherever you have your ISOs downloaded to or ripped to and saved to. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to select. And I'm just going to pick this right here. Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai Another Road PSP. It's 504 megabytes. So I'm just going to select this. And you're going to see that it's going to automatically look for ISO image files. So then once you select it by clicking on it, hit open. And it's going to confirm where the file is. Now you're going to browse and say where you want to um, extract it to so um, or save your CSO file to. So I'm just going to select my desktop right here and save that as it is. Now you can select to delete the input file after conversion, but I don't do that just in case it's a faulty so I don't have to download it again. And browse to output folder after compression. You don't really need to do that if you save it to your desktop. You're going to select the best compression, like so, and ignore this, the use NC, the audio, because there's already audio on the ISO. And then simply just hit compress. And this little kind of screen is going to come up. It's going to be like a command prompt almost, and it's going to show a percentage. And uh, it goes fairly quickly. Um, you're looking at about, maybe about, uh, it's... 30% of what it is smaller than it usually is, I'd say, around there. So while that's doing that, let's go to the root of the PSP's memory stick. Now, um, god damn it. Hello. Thank you. Anywho, um, right here, you're going to select, you're going to right click, and you're going to hit new, and hit folder. After you do that, rename the folder ISO in all capital letters. And after doing that, double click and open this up. This is where your CSOs and ISOs go. As you can see, I already have some CSOs in here. These are some PSP mini games that I decided to try out. And uh, if we go over to the compression here, we're at 94%, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, and we're done. Once that's finished, you can exit that out. And I'm just going to minimize some of this stuff to get it out of the way. I can exit this extraction. And on your desktop, you should see the ISO that you have compressed to CSO. And you can see that it's 336 megabytes. And just to prove to you that it is smaller, I'm going to go back here 
and open up the folder go to the PSP titles and scroll down to Dragon Ball Z here 517 uh, 124 KB which is 517 megabytes minimize that this is only 336 megabytes so we have compressed the size so what you're gonna do is just drag and drop that into the ISO folder and let that copy over now it shouldn't take too long considering the size also it depends on what kind of operating system you're running on so if you're running on Windows Vista or 7 it's gonna take less time as if you were running on XP or uh, Windows Home or Windows 98 or 2000 or whatever the fuck you're gonna run on but pretty much it shouldn't take that long I'd recommend uh, for quality that you don't really have to compress small ISOs I mean I do it anyway just cause I got a small memory stick but uh, if you have a larger memory stick keep them as ISOs and just drag and drop them into your ISO folder but with bigger ones like gigabytes I'd say compress them just cause it'll take up less space so once that's done copying over which is gonna be about 10 seconds all you're gonna do is just exit this out like so and you're gonna go to your PSP exit USB mode go to your game menu and scroll over and go all the way down to your memory stick where you would save demos and stuff and open it up and you will see the Dragon Ball Z Shen Budokai Under the Road PSP CSO the game just chilling there waiting to be played or whatever game you have compressed the CSO so thanks for watching subscribe rate and comment and if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them take it easy guys and uh that's about it.